So I think I'm going to make a bunch of money. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hey everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin and we are outside of the eBay cave. We are going to do a little bit of a close-up to, to show you what we got in what I'm going to call the Jewish Christmas uh, yard sale haul. Alright, let's take a look. So first off, we got a couple of PS2s, and or excuse me, one PS2, which this doesn't have that much value. It's got a couple of controllers, got all the connections and all the cords. So uh, we'll clean it up, test it a little bit. I'll pay my boy to do that. And it's at least, I think at Christmas time, at least $30 plus shipping, provided everything's working with it. Um, we have a PS3 system here, and it does not look like it has the controllers, but it does have some hookups for it unless they're mixed in with that other box. And I had a, uh, a viewer, uh, Vintage Fiend, tell me that this might be a backwards compatible PS3. We'll look up the model number and see. It's got a couple little nicks and scratches and whatnot, but we'll have to test that and make sure it works and we'll get it listed probably right after Halloween. I usually wait to list those. Now there's about 41 games in all that came with it. If you remember, we paid $25 for both systems. So that system right there will pay for everything else. This system, um, if Vintage Fiend is correct, um, which I certainly hope he is, uh, may be a $150, $200 machine. I haven't looked it up, just going on what he told me. So maybe you can uh, take a look at these titles here. From what I can look at, just looking at the titles with what I've sold in the past, I don't see one home run PS2 game in that lot. Not one. Um, I see two or three $10 games. Um, I'll have to look up a few more, but uh, no home runs in that lot, I don't think. So they'll end up getting lotted off. Probably make two lots out of it, one lot. I'll take two or three $10 games out of there, sell them separately, and then lot all the, uh, all the sports titles together and get next to nothing for them and get them out of here and then all lot all the rest of the games and get a decent amount of money for 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 that lot i think the ps3 games i see no great titles there either so i might put them with the system i might put some of these with the system as well i'm not quite sure um or just lot them off or there's also a place down at the flea market that uh, buys games now they buy them dirt cheap but It'd be a quick, easy way for me to get rid of them. So, um, however, there are a few home runs. There's one home run that I that I think I've sold this one before, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. But Final Fantasy IV with a black label um, should get around twenty-five dollars plus shipping, maybe thirty, thirty-five dollars for this one. Um, so this one game could pay for everything else. So I would say, depending on this system here, we are conservatively looking at a hundred dollars to. $300 profit max um, so anywhere in that spectrum depending on this machine and if it works um, and what exactly we have here now you saw me buy these and I wasn't thrilled about it but I ended up getting them for around three dollars a piece and these are pretty big um, but everything's packaged in the styrofoam already and that was my selling point I think that I can get around 25 to 30 dollars for these around Christmas time. And if all else fails, I'll take them out of the box, plug them in, and put them in the booth. I think they'll sell fairly quickly. So for the price, it was worth it. If they go for what I think they'll go for, these five will make, make over $100 for us. And this one's a music box, as well as being lighted. Um, and I don't know, they're pretty cool. I wouldn't want them necessarily, but somebody will. Somebody collects them. <laughs> somebody collects everything. <laughs> Uh, you'll see me start getting throw-ins now that we have this booth. So this didn't cost me anything. It was a throw-in, and we'll put a buck or two on it and put it in the booth. Got the 3D glasses. Looks to be in great shape. Lion King is pretty big right now, so somebody will pick it up. Some grandma will pick it up for their kid. 
know, grandkid or something. So this guy here, have not looked up comps for this one, but oh, cha ching, I sold something. I've been selling stuff like crazy today. Um, this is a Thomas Daring um, Daring Drop. It's in really good condition on the inside. Looks like it has not hardly been played at all. And it's $75. The comps on there, there's no sold comps. There's one out there for $69.95. And it has a few watchers on it. So I think at Christmas time, this is probably worth $50. Bucks. Um, bundled it together with the other stuff. They were asking $5. I probably end up paying $4 for it. Um, or you can sell the parts. This was an interesting buy here. You saw me at the first yard sale going through a box and you never saw everything that was in it. So this, I thought this was neat. These aren't worth much money. I've sold them before. I'd probably get... Seven, ten, twelve bucks out of it, maybe. Um, somebody who collects old Warner Brothers, Sylvester the Cat, there. Um, little uh, eight millimeter movie. Either that or put it in the book for three or four, three or four dollars, or in the booth. Uh, a few little interesting. I have not looked this up. I have checked this thing out. Um, I know what it is. It's a splicer, I think, of some sort. Um, these sell, so the blank ones sell, believe it or not, and I can make, uh, I paid two bucks for the whole box, so I'll make probably 15 to 20 dollars off of that stack. These are all used, and they are home movies. This says Glen Cove, which I believe is, is that New York, I guess? It says Christmas and birthdays, so they're home movies. Um, and so I might, there's, um, Beach in Glen Cove, Baby Louie, hmm. At any rate, there's a few different things on here. So maybe some of you guys tell me what to do with these out there. Summer Camp, 1961. Don't quite know what that says, but it's a 61. I might list them and put some titles on them, see if we can get a little bit more money than just selling them as blanks, but we'll sell them as blanks if need be. You saw me buy this. Now, I'll probably sell this one online. Um, I think uh, Murray Life said something the other day in the comments. He's like, yeah, definitely put those in the booth. They're not worth shipping. Um, but I often ship the big ones and sell the big ones. This is a 4.5 liter Amber Visions Corningware, and there's no cracks or anything in it. So it's probably, I've sold a bunch of these. It's probably a $25 item. Ended up paying five. So it's going to be about a $20 profit. And it takes me about 10 minutes to get these things ready to ship and pictures. So, you know, that's. It's 80 bucks an hour for something like this, so I'm probably gonna put it on eBay. These are interesting. So I saw them, I looked at them at that uh, yard sale. You probably saw them in my hand. 1976 Duncan Ornaments. Now there's no sold comps, but that doesn't surprise me terribly in August. Um, there are some listed in lots out there for like 70 bucks for a lot of like eight or so. I don't think they're going to get that for them, but I do think these will have value. As a matter of fact, I think I'll pay for all of the ornaments that I'm going to show you in a minute by just selling these four. Uh, this I thought was just something neat. Um, I just love history, and I thought it was neat. I actually thought it would have a little bit more value. I'm thinking in my head, you know, that'll probably bring, bring like 30 40 bucks plus shipping. It says the Fulton sign and price um, markers. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I might sell the box separate, but I'll probably sell it together and I'll probably be, bring 20 to $30 plus shipping and I paid five, so not a great buy. But it'll still give us a net profit of 15 to 20 bucks for sure. This is a 1954, I think. That's not right. Yeah, it is 1954 Scrabble. And I've never seen the red ones with the pegs and it does have the pegs inside of here as well as the... Um, little cubes and these are not wood so um, I think they're also a little bigger than than normal I think I could sell those tiles for around 20 bucks you see a peg in there I think I'll sell those tiles for around 20 bucks then I might might sell the pieces off I might sell the pegs off um, and then sell the board off some people take these old boards and they'll put or not even old boards but they'll put the boards in uh, in game rooms and use them as decorations in game rooms. So that's a neat board. It's not a typical one where you fold up. It's hard right there. It's got the little ridges on it. It's a Panasonic set of phones. Paid two bucks. It'll probably bring me about $25 profit in all. I'll piece them out. Sell the hand unit separate from the bases is usually what I do. This may be the home run here. I haven't done enough research on it yet, but I believe this is the whole kit. And the whole kit has sold comps for $200 plus shipping. 
and I paid three bucks for the box. Now, the other stuff she was asking a ton of money on because it had price tags on it, but those were just essentially accessories. This is a uh, cooler kit for the soft tail, so I think I'm going to make a bunch of money. Matter of fact, I will pay for every single thing you see in this haul, every single thing you see in the next haul, because this was only half of the day of yard sailing. Um, and so we have a whole nother day's worth I haven't even showed you yet, so you'll see that tomorrow. Everything's still bubble wrapped, brand new in the packages, so that's going to pay for everything. I think I spent $111 total on both of the hauls, um, and this is only half of it, so uh, that'll pay for that and put us in about a $50 profit and everything else is free. Here's just a quick look at all of the ornaments. Most are vintage, some are not. Some are as late as 2008, um, but most, um, from the looks of them and the dates on them, are going to date much farther back than that, um, and they're kind of neat. I think we'll sell them in the booth. Uh, we might look up a few to see if they have any value. Like, this is pretty modern. It looks like, uh, oh, what do you call those things? I bought one of them. I can't even remember. Um, Willow tree, is that right? And it... Yeah, see, it says 2013 on it. Um, so that's pretty modern. But then these over here, and there's a series of these that are definitely not modern. They're definitely older. You can just tell by the color and the look. But they are plastic. So who knows? If nothing else, they're worth a few bucks in the booth. I thought the little wooden reindeer were neat. Uh, they're probably worth a few bucks in the booth, too. This little tree topper. It's like it's homemade. This little angel here was homemade. Um, these little sneakers were really neat. I like them a lot. Those will sell to some tennis player or something. Um, they definitely have a feel of having some age on them. I don't know how old they are, though. These are old. Made out of tin, I believe. Uh, tons of miniature little wooden ornaments in there. I'm sure uh, Blue Ridge Mama will like those. Uh, just a few other pieces, some modern, some not. These little crystal ones are really neat. I like these a lot as I almost break them. Um, I don't know. Thrifting 101, you probably like these too. Or Thrifting Adventures out there. So tell me what you think of these. Tell me what you think of the age of these. Uh, little angel there. Um, there were actually four of these, and I loved that. It was part of the buy. I really liked them, but two had some broken parts, so I had to get rid of them. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do anything with these, because who wants Joseph, an angel, and baby Jesus? <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to be able to. We might end up donating those. A little uh, Norman Rockwell. Those are a dime a dozen. Might put 50 cents on it in the booth. And then an old Hallmark. Um, nativity ornament, 50 cents in the booth, probably. I thought these were neat. Old stained glass ornaments. Got the hooks on them. Season greetings, the stained glass. I thought they were kind of neat. There's three of them. And we'll definitely put these in the booth. I don't see any markings on them. They'll probably bring a little bit of money. And what would a haul be with Commonwealth Picker if you didn't get an ashtray? There's the Ramada in ashtray. Uh, it's pretty much worthless, but we'll check out ebay but i think it'll go in the booth for a buck or two and the skeleton keys and i had a lot of questions about these so here's the deal and here's what i do with these skeleton keys so i could sell them in a lot i paid 20 dollars. i paid up for these because that guy was asking a ton of money i paid 20 bucks i think there's 25 of them or 26 and what I do with these is, you see there's some that are shaped like a heart, like this one. I think there are six of these shaped like a heart. That's not even a really good heart, but it's still a heart. At Valentine's, you can take the heart-shaped ones, and you can put them on there and sell them as single keys for like $10.95 plus shipping. And you put, you know, unique Valentine's gift, key to buy heart, or something like that. And so those six will make me about 50 to 60 dollars and i paid 20 so there's 40 dollars profit right there and then they have about 20 left so in the past i just locked the other ones up and sell them off for about 30 bucks so uh, now i might put them in the booth for like two or three dollars a piece and make a little bit more but in the end i think the 20 dollars investment will end up making about 70 dollars profit is my guess in essence, these were total throw-ins, but if you want to talk about a price and average it all out, they might have been 50 cents a piece. And these are brand new in the packages, amazing 
um, fantasy here, Spider-Man. So I know who that's going to probably in the stocking or something like that. Who knows? Um, this one will sell in the booth or we'll check it out. The comps on these are all over the place. I haven't looked at this particular one. Some are really, really good depending on the age and some are not. So I will have to check these out, the dead stock ones, and check out the date and see if these are really good or not. This is something I bought because I'm going to start selling jewelry in the booth. And I thought this would just be a nice little way in one of the two booths to, the, to display the jewelry. And I paid $2 for it, which is more than I like to pay. But hey, um, she gave me deals on the rest of the stuff. So it's like a little flapper. Um, and we'll uh, put the jewelry on that and see if we can sell some jewelry. So this was one of my favorite buys right here. And I paid $4 for one box that basically had these these two things in it. And then I paid $2 for the rest of them. This is probably, uh, I think bare minimum, this is a $70 sale if I sold them all at once. Uh, selling $70 plus shipping. Probably $25 plus shipping on these. Um, international power review air power review and this is world air power so the 1990s almost all the way through the 1990s it's not doesn't have everything but it's got a bunch so if you ever see these old uh, air magazines uh, i'd pick them up now there's some that aren't good like these proceedings magazines um, they'll be hard to get rid of matter of fact i, I have a guy i'm probably going to gift them to him um, that i know so um, however, there are some other magazines that are specific to certain aircraft, and the ones that are specific to certain aircraft, like all of these down here, they have a little bit of value, and it doesn't take much value, especially if you have multiples, like this A6 Intruder. I think there are four of these in there, and that's probably a $15 book, uh, maybe 12 So, you know, minus fees and shipping, if you make seven to nine dollars on a magazine and you got all these magazines um, and all these right here and then there's these right here that'll have value um, and then you total them up with these and these two which I'm gonna sell off in lots um, you can be making a bunch of money so I would say this is a two hundred dollar minimum maximum four to five hundred dollars depending on how I sold them this item over here is a CPR teddy bear, and I've never sold one of these. One of the viewers said they had this CPR teddy bear. is It's in the box, I guess. I don't know if it's ever been taken out. I don't think it has. Um, it's got a few little fuzzies on it, but I think it's brand new. And these should go for around $70 plus shipping. All right, hey, thanks for joining us, and tell me what you think of the haul. I know there's a lot of experts out there. There's a lot of uh, um, resellers that, that know their gaming, and there's a, a lot of uh, um, thrifters out there that know Christmas a little bit. So tell me what you think. Is there anything I need to know about this before I start researching and before I start listing these items? So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe below, and we'll see you next time.